What's up creators, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes, if you don't know who I am, I do tutorials for video and photo editing. So if you like those things, consider hitting the subscribe button down there and also the bell so you get notified when I upload the next video. Okay, today's video is gonna be very quick and a very simple one. I'm just gonna show you how to load up or install your LUT files into Premiere Pro so you don't have to browse around your computer to find them every single time you want to apply a LUT. Now, let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you. It's a very simple process. So here in Premiere Pro, I have this project for a reel that I'm about to post in the coming days. So we're gonna go to the color tab and now in the color workspace, we have Lumetri Color open. Now, if you don't see Lumetri Color, go to window and you can select Lumetri Color and then it should appear. Now we have two spots where we can load up two different types of LUTs. The first one is in basic corrections and here where it says input LUT above everything else is the base layer. This is gonna be our utility LUTs or conversion LUTs. Uh, for example, if you're shooting log formats, here you can load up your log uh, correction LUTs so you don't have to move around the basic corrections until you have a delogged image. For example, I have my Sony LUT pack. You can check it out here in the cards in case you want to check it out. And there you can just one click and correct your log footage for Sony cameras. Now the other spot is down here under creative and where it says look and here you can browse around and select any look that you preemptively load. These are gonna be the creative LUTs or the ones that affect the color grading part so you don't have to go through all the process of color grading every single clip. So those are the two types of files. Now let's import them permanently into Premiere Pro. So I use Windows, but I'm gonna put you down here in letters and the route for the Mac folders if you're using Macintosh. So I'm just gonna go into my computer, my hard drive, then program files, then in Adobe, and down here we have the common. Over here we have LUTs next, and here we have a blank folder. Now here is where we're gonna create two folders. The first one is gonna be called creative, and there we're gonna insert every single creative look that we want to use in Premiere Pro, and the other one is gonna be the technical one. So we're gonna right click, new folder, yes, and I'm gonna name it creative. I'm gonna create another one, and this one is gonna be called technical. Now it's very important that these two folders are correctly spelled and also that you don't change the name or anything like that. Guys. Now we're gonna load up our files. Okay, right here I have my log conversion LUTs for Sony cameras, I'm just gonna copy them. And in the technical folder, I'm just gonna paste them. Yes. And then over here I have my creative LUTs for the AI like LUT pack. If you wanna check it out, it's up on my store where we have all the LUTs that we've created throughout all my tutorials for uh, famous photographers including Short Touch, Alan Palander, Peter McKinnon, all of them, you name it, it's up there in the cards in case you wanna support me. So I'm just gonna copy them once again and head back to our Premiere Pro folders and in creative, here I'm gonna paste them. And once you copy pasted every single lot that you want Premiere Pro to have, now you're gonna reboot the program and then you are going to open up once again Premiere Pro and then we click on the basic corrections and an input lot. Notice that in the scroll down menu, now my conversion lots from the technical folder have been uploaded or down here, but not the creatives. Now we go to the creative tab and then under look, scroll down menu, now we can see that every single lot from the edit like series, I've added it over here and they're permanently stored. So for example, in this clip, maybe I wanted to apply Luis Class style. We can see now that it's applied. And if maybe I want to add, let's say short touch, there it is. Maybe I want to add Alan Palander. And in this way, these lots are gonna be installed in Premiere Pro until you uninstall the program. So they're there permanently. You don't have to browse around to find them in every single project. Now, it's very important, just a reminder, to create those two folders and to name them correctly, guys, and separate them. In one, put your utility LUTs, and in the other one, put your creatives. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Just a very quick video that really saves up a lot of time it's when you're browsing around your computer looking for your LUTs. Now they're preemptively just loaded up into Premiere Pro. So if you liked the video, found it helpful, just give it a like and consider subscribing. I'm Tony Fuentes. Cheers to all of you. See you in the next one.